I'm Kendall Bailey. And I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is July 21st, 2018. And in this video, we're going to be going to print out some painting tools that Kendall found on Thingiverse. Okay, so Kendall was poking around Thingiverse and you found this paint palette, this rainbow paint palette. Which I, think, I like it. Which I think it looks really cool. So we're going to go download it. And so then you'll have a paint palette to paint with. So here it is. It happens to be Thing. 2264833. We'll put a link in the show notes. So let's go click on thing files and just download it and get it prepped for printing. Because I think it's going to be a pretty cool tool to have around for teaching because we're always painting stuff, right? It's just I fun. I like painting 3D stuff. <laughs> We've been printing a lot of 3D stuff in uh, white. So she gets to paint it. So, so there it is, which is kind of big. So let's go rotate it first. But I like this. And also you can see whoever designed this did a great job. Whoever. Let me go look their name. What's their name? What's their name? Burbandus. It's really cool. That's a weird name. Well, that's probably his screen name or her screen, I guess. Burbandus. It kind of looks, I can't tell by the picture. But, you know, people make weird names for their screen names, right? Yours like, isn't weird. Mine's not. Well, Iqula sounds a little weird. No. No? Sounds cool. Uh, well, of course. Okay, well, that's too big, so we got to make it smaller. So we'll go... Let's try 70%. How's that? More. You want it bigger? 75. 75. Okay, 75. Yeah. So there it is. And we will do it in 0.2 millimeter, because, you know, it should be fine. And let's see, nothing special about it. So let's just go generate the code, the G code. <laughs> just make a folder here to put it in. Oh, there we go. So this should go pretty quick. Let's go save this guy off. I like I like the fact that those end go in with the little paint. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty smart. Cause you know, uh, when you angle it in, yeah. you can like when you pour the paint in, you can scrape it along the edge, put it in the thing underneath, yeah. and you can mix the colors. Oh, that's pretty smart. Okay, so rainbow paint palette. I made that and I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, there. Let's save it. Okay, and we'll go back and we'll delete that one because we also found something else because you were looking for... Uh, uh um, like a paintbrush pen. Paint, paintbrush, paint, paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush holder. Paintbrush holder. And so you found a TARDIS. Yeah. So we're going to go print the TARDIS out. This happens to be thing 138952. So we'll go download this one and prep it too, but we'll probably print this one in TARDIS blue, right? We like the TARDIS. We like the TARDIS. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I can't do the theme song. <laughs> horrible. Oh, it was down dun, there, didn't it? Oh, there you go. Okay, so we'll do it in 0.2 millimeters again. And there we go. Looks good. We'll save that out and we'll make a new folder. What? TARDIS? TARDIS cup. TARDIS cup. Okay, TARDIS cup. And we'll get save the G code out there and we'll get both of them printing. So this one we'll do in TARDIS blue and the paint palette we'll just do in white. Or do you want a different color? White. White. Okay, so we'll do that in white. So. Let's get to printing. Because then you can tell if there's paint on it. That's true. I guess you're just using acrylic paint, so you just wash it off when you're done, right? Yeah. yeah that should work. It's cool. <laughs> okay, so we've got them printed out now. But first, let's always go over the numbers. So, uh, the paint palette, the rainbow paint palette, took five hours and four minutes to print. It took 3.9 cents with electricity, and it weighs 0 0.074 kilograms which at $20 per, for a kilogram roll comes out to $1.48 in material. And in total, the whole print costs $1.52. So, not bad. Now, for the TARDIS, it took six hours and five minutes to print. 
It took 5.7 cents of electricity, and it weighs 0 0.07 kilograms, so a dollar forty worth of filament, and all altogether a dollar forty-six for the TARDIS. So both got a dollar fifty each, and so not bad. And also, once we showed my son the TARDIS, he had to get one himself, so we're printing another TARDIS right now. So, what do you think of this, my daughter? Oh, you're eating your cookie. Oh. So, <laughs> see if we can get a, a better angle on that. So here is, there it is right there. And I think it's pretty cool. I think that's a good size for you, right? You like that? So what do you think? Mm -hmm. With your cookie in your mouth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a cookie. You gotta eat a cookie. <laughs> okay. And then here is the TARDIS, which I think worked out really well. It's a good size. Although, Kendall, I think you want a bigger one, don't you? Bigger one, because we have got lots of paint brushes. Okay, so we may have to go print a bigger one. We'll see. But, what do you think? You like it? We haven't, we haven't tried them yet, but... And as I think I pointed out earlier, I really like the fact, you know, these are angled up here. Let's see if we can, no, oh, I got a bad angle. But these right up there, you can see? Those up the, okay. The ones on the very top of the rainbow are angled up a little bit, so that's kind of cool. So we like it. Another thing I did is I printed out a little tiny one. That is so cute. I think that was 30% size. And, um, it little, can fit in the cloud. It's a little on the small side, but I thought um, if you're going to have a little party or something, you have a bunch of kids over and you want to have a little, a bunch of different ones, uh, okay, $1. fifty is not much for the big one, but if you want to print a bunch of small ones out really quickly, I thought it might be a good solution. So, it could fit in the cloud. Fit in the cloud. So, overall we're happy, right? That was a good cookie. That was a good cookie. Okay. So, there are some really cool things on Thingiverse for painting or supplies. And so, for a little schooling or for our homeschooling, now we've got some extra paint supplies that you found that are kind of fun. And so, pretty cool. Uh, I love painting. If you got little kiddos and you're 3D printing, a couple of things I suggest. One, hey, print some things out in white because this one has been painting on my white 3D prints. And hey, it's, this is kind of cool that she found to have a little paint palette. So, and when I have friends over, we paint white you, things. You paint white three D prints. Okay, so I guess that's enough of this video. That's some cool things to print out. So keep on printing. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.